Alright guys, so update on the band situation. Supercell has finally responded and yesterday I talked to a very helpful person in the creator chat and they basically said that they would do a double check on my account and then hit me up in DMs t today, like this morning. But today I woke up to this Reddit tweet from Clash Royale saying that all the permanent bans were a mistake and 61 people got unfairly permanent banned because it was a system error. As you guys can read, the permanent bans were unintended and occurred due to a system error. So yeah, basically Supercell has just decided to unban, or I guess not unban, but basically let all the accounts that have gotten permanent banned back to 31 day, like revert it back to 31 day. Now, obviously people have a lot of mixed feelings about it. And some of the people think that it was not a system error and Supercell kind of like took a lot of heat. So they decided to change it back to the um 31 day ban. But I don't know how much I believe this because I feel like Okay, first off, the community is already really hostile to this Supercell community, right? Because this is not the first time that they messed up really bad like this. This is like not even the 10th time, probably more. So moving forward from this is going to be so awkward for the team because that situation was just so mishandled. Nobody really gave us answers for like why the bans were permanent for three days. And then after three days, they come back saying that it was a system error. So a lot of people are not happy about this. As you guys can see in my comments, a lot of mixed feelings in the comments. I mean, some people think that I deserve the perma ban, which is kind of funny because I definitely did not deserve it. And those 61 people alongside me also did not deserve it. But I feel like if people like me, Nate, and other really big content creators like Riley, OJ, SML didn't speak up on this, I feel like this issue would have probably just been dismissed and yeah i just want to thank sml huge thank you to sml by the way huge help he's the one who actually linked my tweet to the creator chat and shed some light to it so make sure to use code royal api to show him some love he's also the creator of royal api by the way and i would also like to thank oj and anaban for siding with me with this issue i feel like if those kind of like you know big faces of clash Royale would not have been on my side i feel like this issue would have never really been checked again and then supercell would never really have found out that it was like a system error so once again to everyone involved thanks a lot for saving those 61 accounts from a permanent ban once again going back to what i was saying right so i was very hostile to the community just like a lot of player base right now because in the past supercell has not done anything right when it comes to stuff like this and this issue just kind of made it worse because like moving forward it's definitely going to be a lot more awkward now i feel like they're going to face a lot of hate. And honestly, if something like this were to happen in the future, then people would definitely use this as like a huge example to why Supercell has not been really on top of their game and like disappointing the fan base every single time. But yeah, we can only hope that in the future, the bans are more consistent and yeah, no more repeated mistakes like this. And also bans are handed out for more serious issues like win trading and I also want to quickly apologize to Oiku right now because she's getting a lot of personal attacks and a lot of hate. And honestly, I didn't I had time to think about this all day yesterday and I feel a lot more guilty now because I feel like I was really immature about the issue and I kind of like led people into attacking Oiku because people probably thought that like the only way to reach out to the devs is to, you know, yell at community managers, tell them that, yo, tell them this, tell them this, you're not doing your job right and stuff, but yeah, I feel like that is the one mistake I did because I didn't mention in the other video to not send out any hate to the community manager. Instead, I kind of mentioned how she was like she didn't respond to my other issues, which kind of made it worse. So I would like to apologize for that again. Unfortunately, my DMs are not open with her. And yeah, I wish I could reach out, but I really would like to apologize for that. That's been on my mind since yesterday. And no, I'm not just switching sides because now I got my ban reverted to 31 days. I actually thought about this before I even got it reverted. Because yesterday I was seeing a lot of like foul things on Twitter related to her. And I was like, dang, did I cause this? And then I kind of let it sink in and realize later on that part of it, or at least like a huge part of it was my fault. So once again, please guys don't like send any more hatred towards Oiku. She's doing her job she is an amazing community manager and i feel like i was definitely just so immature so let me know in the comments if you guys agree with this but i personally like i think i could have been nicer could have taken a different approach but i wonder if like if i took a nicer approach would it even have been resolved who knows 
All right, guys, I don't want to let you guys go without showing some gameplay at least. So I'm going to show like two games from earlier today. I recorded some games earlier today. Try to get top one, but I unfortunately could not. But hope you guys enjoy the games. All right, I'm in my next match here. Ooh, facing Hunter. Okay, if I win this, I'm going to need like three more games to get to top one, I think. Because I'm going to get like 35 if I win. But I cannot afford to lose. But if I lose, the top one dream is over. So I'm going to... Wait, why do you knight the back? Hmm. I feel like Hunter, he tries to get away without rocketing because with the Evo Tesla, right, you want to try to play a lot of Evo Tesla on defense and try to get back to your Evo Tesla as quick as you can so you can punish. But see, sometimes that happens. Like, I think, I don't think he meant to play the NATO there. He might have meant to play the Skellies or maybe he did mean to play the NATO and like pull the Knight in so the Dagger Duchess would take it out quick. I don't know, but either way, that didn't work out. So I feel like as an Ice Bow player, do not Knight the back in an Ice Bow Mirror matchup. Save your Knight. If you knight the back, then, like, say you try to get away with a Tesla, it just doesn't work. If the other player is smart, he's always going to block the Axe Bow. Because, like, rocketing in single is not even that good of a play anymore in mirror matchups. So, I feel like you just have to try to play a Tesla on the Axe Bow, try to get back to your Evo Tesla, and just win. But, yeah, coming back from this spot for Hunter is going to be tough now. Also, I forgot my in-game volume, didn't I? I think I did. Yikes. <laughs> okay. I usually have it off when I'm not recording because I'm listening to music in the background, but I forgot to turn it back on. So for this game, you guys are going to have to just listen to my ASMR. Maybe I'll throw in like a moan or two in here. Who knows? No, I'm just playing. I'm not going to moan in a video, but let's see. Also, guys, today I grinded so much Brawl Stars. Bro, listen, listen. I unlocked Edgar yesterday, right? Edgar. And then I like used all my power ups and gold on it. And today I got it to level 10 and I'm at 700 trophies with it. Bro, it's so broken. Like, not yesterday, actually. I, I think I unlocked it, like, a day before. I think it's been, like, two days now. But, dude, it's so broken. It's like, it's like the Mega Knight of Brawl Stars, I swear to God. Okay, wait, the bomber's not dying. I'm gonna arrows on the Ice Fizz and the Knight. Okay, looking good. Gonna Skellies here. I feel like this game's over, yeah. Knew that he was gonna Axe, so I had the Tesla ready. I'm gonna go for a Knight. Okay, he does give up, so I will take the win. Um, Gonna be a super nice win. I'm gonna hop into my next match. Wait, before I hop in though, let me check where I'm at. I should be at like top five or six. Top five. Okay, not too bad. Alright, I'm in my next match. You're facing Polaris. This guy plays like a Goblin Drill deck. I think he's a Graveyard main, but right now he's playing Goblin Drill Knight NATO, so I need to be a little bit careful. I don't have a log, so I could actually lose, but Oh, never mind. Okay, he went back to Graveyard. I'm gonna axe on the right. Okay, this matchup's a lot easier because I think he's playing with a Tesla right now. Tesla's a lot better for me compared to Tombstone. Tombstone is like the one reason that I actually lose this matchup quite a lot because problem is Tombstone is so good at stalling out the Axpo that like Axpo literally dies like more than half HP if you just put a Tombstone down and time it right. Skelly's hard to kind of prevent the evil bomber but yeah just have to be careful. I just have to block the bridge when I go Axpo so that I don't get caught by a Tesla at the bridge. I have to go for like Axpo Tesla and stuff like that. But I'm going to bomber in the back here to cycle though see if I can bait something out baby dragon okay i'm definitely gonna go for a tesla on it i'm just gonna tesla high right now okay you're gonna go for an ice spear right now the dagger should be helping out any second now okay not too bad what why do you waste it <laughs> uh okay interesting evil bomber i'm just gonna go in i'm gonna try to get a lock here maybe skelly's on the side i feel like you might try to tesla and then lp though so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get a lock but i'm just gonna knight to see if i can actually oh wait i won I actually just won because he put the LP all the way far down over there so like he's actually not going to be able to hit max but with the ability that means I can ice fear and then just kill the guardian and then the expo's on the tower nice now he's gonna have to go for like a baby dragon on it but I'm just gonna eat the baby dragon because my daggers are gonna take it out right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna expo and gonna make sure to block the actually I don't even need to he can't get a knight down he possibly cannot get a knight down yeah let's go Let's go. That was such a good win. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hopefully that shows like even like one tiny mistake like a LP placement could lose you the game because if you played it like one to the right then he would have been able to hit the expo with the ability and then I would not be able to go for like a second expo right there. Because obviously he would have a lot more elixir and he would definitely be able to tank it. But now I think he gave up. Okay. Made two people give up back to back so I will definitely be taking that. Um, I'm definitely going to have to go for like I think... This game's not gonna give me a lot, right? So I'm gonna have to go for like, I think two more or something along the lines of that. But we take these though, once again, a really good win. I often like hate facing Splash Shard, but when this kind of stuff happens, bro, I love facing it. Tesla is such a good matchup for me. I'm gonna hop right in and see when I find a match.